What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel, your spot for DJ mixes and gaming. Today, we're going to be going over one of my favorite Wii games and favorite homebrew channel games, Nuo Zero. Now those of you that don't know about Nuo Zero, Nuo Zero was actually created in 2021, way after the Wii's lifespan, and it is completely free as long as you have the homebrew channel, the developer makes no money off of this, he has simply created this just for his pleasure and hobby, and let me tell you, it has turned into such a great game, considering that it even started off as a great game. The developer has been keeping up with a lot of support for this throughout the years and just releasing plenty of consistent updates. And that's why we're on today's video because at the tail end of December 2023, he released new updates version 4.0. And we're gonna be going over some of those today and just to show the people that already have this game what the updates are and just opening up the eyes of the people who had no idea that this game existed get this game like i said it is free and i will supply links on where to get it down below but just so you know you can get it on the homebrew browser through the homebrew channel you can get it on their webrew and you can also get it through github so with that said Let's go ahead and go over just some of the details of the game itself. New Zero is a galactic race over and below Neo Tokyo. You use your pirating skills to race through about 16 levels across 6 championships while vibing to chill synthwave music. The game runs at about 60 frames per second and it has a 3D wireframe graphical style. It is a single player game and it supports either Wiimote, Wiimote and Nunchuck, GameCube, Classic controller or motion controls. I myself like to use the steering wheel or the Wii steering wheel with the motion controls just because it's a racing game and in my opinion those go hand in hand but it takes so many different options for the controls. Also the game does have online leaderboards so if you're trying to get that high score it does display who did the high score on that day and that month what tracks so if you're in it for trying to be the best of the best it does have that which is really cool version 4.0 added a retry after crashing out it gives you two continues a new master cup with 16 random courses new display options hide your grid track decals sky new color options full neon retro gray green red motion control options now added sensitivity and dead zone new interface, new minimap, and a level select screen, improved performance, and updated graphics, backgrounds, textures, and bug fixes. I'm gonna be showing you guys a little bit of gameplay here. I'm gonna be using the inside vehicle viewpoint, which is my favorite. There are a lot of other viewpoint options, so don't feel like this is the only view you get to use when you're racing. You should have seen some of it during the attract mode earlier in this video and I'm also using the Wiimote and the motion controls with the Wii wheel and this is about as good as I can drive for now but do keep in mind I am on the master row cup which is one of the harder cups to race on in this game according to the developer the game was inspired by F0, F0 GX and Rad Racer but I'd like to think that there is a little bit of inspiration as well from this older futuristic racing game called Wipeout which was on the PlayStation. Driving on this track you get a sense of the Neo Tokyo cyberpunk type of aesthetic that the developer was trying to go for and the music in the background which happens to be Synthwave and Chillwave pair perfectly with the game's visuals. And speaking of background music, all of the Chillwave and Synthwave that you do here in the game is done by White Bat Audio, a Synthwave, Chillwave, and Cyberpunk music producer. I will leave a link down below if you want to check out more of his music. But this, all in all, just gives off that retro wave vibe and the way that the visuals have grown since the beginning of the game have improved so much. The skyscrapers have grown taller more buildings have been added in there are more neon lights and just more colors in general that really give off the vibe that in the beginning of this game's lifespan in 2021 it seemed to be a growing city with a small population and now that population has just doubled and this neo tokyo city has just grown and grown and 
it definitely shows over the years. If you want to see more gameplay of New Zero, I will be featuring it in a new series called Synthwave Gaming where I take this game and games similar to this which have a cyberpunk and synthwave chillwave vibe to it and I will be doing just focused gameplay with less commentary and more of the great music like this in the background. I look forward to doing that for all of y'all out there and I hope that you're going to enjoy the new content as well. So for this video, I think that's going to be it. Thanks for watching today and I will see you on the next video. Peace.